Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, yes, this is a full oracle card spread uh, that is gathering energies together for Pisces. So this is for Pisces sun, moon, rising, or sun, Pisces anything. Wherever Pisces energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next 7 to 10 days out. Um, from whenever you see this video, I'm not putting uh, dates on my videos anymore um, because I realized that videos I made months ago are still affecting and impacting people. So this will come to you whenever it's supposed to come to you. But I do make a new video every single week. So if you love my videos, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you know when I upload all the new content and you, and you can get it. You can get the messages fresh off the press. I always do an extended reading as well. So we're going to do this reading on YouTube with the Oracle cards, the energy reading. But if you want a more, a, a, a deeper articulation of this reading and expansion of this reading, and it's a little bit more personal, then come on over and join me for the extended. That link is in the description box always. Um, and it includes a romantic reading as well. So let's get into this Pisces. Ooh, trust the great mystery. This is about letting go and releasing for you guys and just letting the water take you. In fact, just becoming one with the water again, releasing your full self into the water. This could be just Neptunian's energy finally being able to take over you now that, that Mercury is going direct and it's about to get out of your sign. This is a sense of finally being liberated and freed and go back to the basics of yourself and get lost in your dream world. This is also about diving in and opportunities are opening up for you, Pisces. Opportunities that you basically set up as psychic in terms of psychic connections. Um, in other words, um, you might have felt these opportunities coming along the pike for a long time, but now you're getting in deeper. You're getting in deeper with something. Like I felt like it's opportunities, but it could also be with love. It's whatever the opportunity is for you. You're just basically taking the plunge and letting the water wash all around you. And I really did just see you sort of melting into this energy. So it's not something that you want to be separate from and you don't need to know everything about it. In other words, you love the mystery. You love the excitement of the unknown. You love the exploration with your extra senses. You, you don't need to, um, uh, you don't need to sense, sense it, uh, in terms of intellectually understand to just dive in and take the plunge but that's what's happening it's also something you may be participating in something or working on something that is requiring your full self to go all in like kind of shutting down your pragmatic brain and just trusting in faith um interesting energy for you because in in terms of you especially and how you interact with the element of water, this is progress for you. Like diving in deep is progress for you. So you, you either, somebody's made a commitment to you or you've made a commitment to them. And no, I am not talking about just a romantic commitment. This could very well be signing contracts or just dive, oh, you're, you're in the deep end. You're, you're, you're far from the shallows now, Pisces. Just to let you know, I just thought of that Lady Gaga song, but that's the lyrics I have in my head is, um, um, I'm the deep end, de deep end, watch as I dive in. I'm far from the shallows now. And you don't want to be anywhere near the shallows. This is, this is exciting for you. Like life is picking up as you dive in. Let's see where these other two cards are going to lead us. Take a leap of faith. Trust this. This is a good time. This moment is right for you. This is also about fortune and luck. Didn't I tell you opportunities were coming in for you? This is divine timing, holy trinity, which is number three, which is balance. Um, this is your heart, your mind, and your spirit are all in sync and balanced. They've been tantalized. They're all in. So your full self is in, not just part of you. Your whole self is in. So it's literally you found something to immerse at all of you in. And it's taking all of your time and all of your energy and you wouldn't have it any other way you're allowing yourself to get lost in it you're trusting it with a full heart why because it's the right thing to do trust this because it's going to bring you a lot of fortune and could even um it could even push you forward into the future do you see this is energy of two plus nine is eleven awakening being able to see and broaden and expand your opportunities your minds your mind your uh doors opening for you um seeing that whatever you're taking a leap of faith for or or into right now is going to actually open doors in the future setting yourself up for future success 
and future, um, uh, like a future uh, solidity and grounding because this is Taurus energy, very gentle energy, very sweet energy, energy of, um, yeah, energy of Taurus, of you guys, uh, of, uh, but, but Taurus is slow moving energy, right? It's, it's, it's energy that is reliable and, and, um, is well rooted. So you're planning for the future. You're taking a leap of faith now to invest in the future. I don't know if you're fronting, fronting money because Taurus is about finances. You might be investing in something Pisces, um, not necessarily just stock. You could just be like buying plane tickets or investing in a house or investing in a new place to live, or you could be making some sort of financial commitment, um, knowing or feeling that it's going to take you far into the future. Um, you could be going back to school, sort of investing in your college education or uh, new classes for yourself that'll broaden your horizons or a net networking meetings, so many different things, but you could be laying out money for it. Um, anyway, if you were in question and wondering if it's a good idea, it's a good idea. Tend to the small thing. Something has been building for a really long time. In this scenario, you could have been saving for a long time. You could like stacking your pennies and putting your coins away for just this moment when you knew you were going to need it. You've been helping to build for a long time. This could be the construct. This is usually sort of infestation. This is usually sort of infestation happening. Um, something building in the something building in the walls, like uh, over a long period of time. So yes, something could have been bothering you, but in the relation to all these other cards, I can tell you right now, this is almost like savings. It's like you've been putting away little by little, you've been, um, um, it's been gaining momentum over time. Uh, this says tend to the small things. So yes, think, no, I don't want to read it that way though. To be honest with you, I don't feel like things have been getting to you or irritating you or bothering you. I feel like you have been prepping for this for a while. That's what I think. I think you've been taking little steps in this direction and now you're ready to just dive in. That's what I think. Uh, this could have been just a uh, tension, tension building up over time, but not tension that was a bad sort of tension. Something that, you know, has been taking its time, just little bits and pieces along the way type of thing. Hmm, energy. I like that energy, actually. I got to read the card. Like, it means the same thing, but it's actually not a bad thing. Oh, I'm just saying. Sweet results await. Look at that. Something, what did I say? You've been working on this. The bee only gets the honey when he busts his butt. And that's why I love this reading so much. This is also a strong sense of self because this is Leo energy. This is also fortune and public recognition. You could be in the spotlight. Uh, Pisces, this is you finally being able to, and I got this reading for you not too long ago too, being able to reap the benefits of all your hard work and finally being able to soak in the honey. Feel really good about yourself. You feel really confident of yourself and you could be surrounded by a bunch of people you're like you're working on something or investing in something that a lot of people are helping you to produce or you're helping them or you're just all working together but you not only are reaping the benefits of this hard work you're also um you also love the work uh time for a deep dive this is more these are my two deep dive cards. So you're plunging all in and your heart is all in. This is La Vie en Rose kind of romance. This is heart space, finding somebody that you love or finding something that you love. Either way, your heart is all in. This is Libra energy. So you have more balance here, but you also have like equal, equal partnership, equal give and take. If you're producing with other people, they're contributing just as much as you. You're not giving too much or too little. You're all, all in. This is a partnership card. Um, this is, yeah, Venetian energy in Libra. So like uh, Libra is all about partnership. That's what this is about. This is, you could very well, this could be romance. This could be falling in love, finding somebody that you can actually be with and that wants to be with you long-term, Pisces. 
but I think this is even bigger, to be honest. I think this is larger scale and finally being very, very happy with what you're doing and what you're surrounding yourself with, including who you're surrounding yourself with. This is scorpionic energy, something coming to a close or something coming to a finish. Uh, four plus six equals 10. So this is the energy of finally being able to know exactly what it is you want and aim your spotlight in that direction. It's also using your voice and opening up. Somehow you're using your voice to shine and share yourself outwardly and it's really helping you. Maybe you're telling somebody for the first time or hearing for the first time how much somebody loves you. They're showing you. They're maybe expressing themselves to you. There's definitely self-expression going on here, whether it's you or somebody else using your voice to open your soul to the world. So it's almost like, you know, speaking your soul. And then we have this energy, which is also awakening energy. See? Five plus six equals 11. Um, this is you carving the world the way that you want it. You being the one to pull the strings. You being the one to sort of weave um, a spell. This is spell casting. So it's almost like, what did I say? Finding your voice, like casting a spell. Casting a spell with your voice that is literally going to hypnotize people and like trap them in your clutches. Um, but, but in a good way, in a way that's very beneficial to you, make your dreams real. You've been working very, very hard the way that spiders do. You could be connecting with mother energy or an ancestral energy, grandmother energy, like uh, letting it flow through you, connecting. You could be getting their support or just channeling some sort of ancestral connectivity energy in this creative process, whatever you're working on Pisces, but essentially you have created the life that you want to create and now you're sharing it with the world and honestly people are loving it f y i way to go okay pisces let's get your grounding energy Ooh, this is a good reading for you guys opening up a lot of opportunities and expanding yourself and really feeling good about yourself if this is love and romance i can tell you right now that this is something you've been working on for a long time um surrender now you have no intention of surrendering so this is this is the energy of never giving up in the grounding space this is sagittarius energy um, so also mutable energy, but fire energy of, it's also like the camp fire energy of gathering people around you. And you have, it's like, you've just begun, you've just begun. Maybe you're just in charge of a project or something. And you're like, you're like, you're like uh, gathering. I don't know. This is about gathering opportunities around you. You're, you refuse to give up and there's no end in sight. Um, and then finally the last two are love is all around. Okay. See, this is for me though, this is love is all around. Like you're on, you're on center stage of a theater. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you're like, people adore you. People are worshiping you. They're hailing you. They're uh, singing your praises. This is the card of singing your praises. Like everybody all around you loves you. The communication about you, there's communic people talking good stuff about you, even when you're not in the room. This is Gemini energy. Once again, also mutable energy of just being able to, you know, go with the flow and be in sync with things and not plan too far ahead. But this is also about getting to know a person one-on-one -on -one because that's what Gemini is so good at is being able to learn the world through their conversations with, with, with other people. And, um, this is you. So what you're having to do, the project that you're working on could be about connecting or communicating with people, understanding people, but people are really able to really relate to you, you know, in a way that they feel you're talking just to them. Uh, time to let go. This is an energy of scorpionic energy of three plus one, which is four. Once again, in the grounding position. So, um, you're being, you're, um, it's almost like you're being released onto the world or you're releasing yourself onto the world and you're, and you're letting go publicly. Does that make any sense to you? Let me flip the cards around so we can review, I'll, uh, review them together. Hold on. So, it's yeah so this is your grounding place right this is what's crowning your energy so your whole energy is sort of driven by this theme of just diving in and finding your home and finding the place where you belong and giving your whole self over to it and this is all about your creative journey about little by little letting things build up over time and letting things like almost planning for the future right? Um, about something that you care about so very deeply and sharing the deepest parts of you to help create something in the future and build something in the future, working on and starting to uh, reap the benefits. But this is 
reap the benefits of what you're doing, but you're also working in partnership with others. You could be dealing with Scorpio. This is very Scorpionic energy. You could be working in partnership with a Scorpio in, uh, or a Libra. There's also Taurus energy here. There's lots of energy here. There's Gemini, there's Sagittarius, a uh, double Scorpio though. Th there's definitely this energy of people really digging, like picking up what you're putting down, somebody that really gets you, somebody that really understands you, um, and something that you've been keeping to yourself for a long time you're finally able to share with the world you may be sharing this with the world or sharing this out loud almost like in a way like like making your love part your your love or your feelings part of the book that you're writing or part of the play that you're creating and like revealing this love to the whole world uh, before you reveal it to the actual person but essentially this is um, being inspired and letting your inspiration just carry into everything that you do um, and, and, and like this commitment just sort of overtaking you um, in a wonderful, wonderful way washing over you. So Pisces, this is you really having found what you want in life. It's also about people um, talking well about you, um, releasing and relinquishing the need to hear good stuff about you, but simultaneously, it's like the less you need it, the more it comes. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Um, and you're definitely not going to stop. You're just going to keep going deeper and deeper into this situation. Um, this is an interesting energy of time to let go though. Love is all around and time to let go. Love is all around and time to let go. I feel like it's time to let go. Just dive in like time to let go of the safety rail and jump. Um, but I will definitely articulate this reading with Tara, but I just, I, it's almost like I lost something and I want to get it back. Something I was picking up on time for a deep dive. That's what it is. It's letting go of your safety net. It's letting go of the diving board. It's diving in deep. And it could very well be, um, it was hard for you to get here. You know, it was hard for you to build these resources. You had to take a lot of hits. You had to make a lot of sacrifices, but you're finally starting to see something pay off. Finally, let's see where, let's, let's see what's coming. Let's see what's coming and articulate exactly what it is that's coming to you. And we're going to do that romance reading too. Pisces, the link is below. I'll see you over in the extended.